On this episode, we talk to Doc AI about how large healthcare companies can start to gain the benefits of running in the cloud. So how has the cloud kind of been a catalyst to making this change in the industry as a whole? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, if you look at traditionally most big health, uh, healthcare related companies are not really on the cloud. They're usually on their own data centers. Uh, moving to cloud has many challenges. So one is regulatory and compliance challenge. Uh, we are seeing that most cloud providers today are HIPAA compliant out of the box, which reduces the sort of barrier of entry, but it's still pretty hard for them to move massive amounts of data to cloud uh, because there is costs associated with it. But the stickiness aspect with the cloud is that you don't have to build tools from ground up because there are so many services out of the box that the cloud offers that it makes valuable because it's a question of opportunity cost. Can you get to market sooner? Uh, however, still there are like enough challenges for big healthcare players to be on the cloud. What we are seeing at Doc AI startups, uh, uh, which is a startup, basically we don't have that issue. We can be on cloud. We are cloud native from get go. So we want it to be scalable, resilient, and uh, use all the services out of the box uh, so that we can get to market sooner. Uh, what we have seen is we were able to get to market significantly faster, not having to worry about infrastructure or managing servers uh, and use the plethora of services that Google Cloud provides. Uh, a great example of that is Google Kubernetes Engine. Uh, and along with all the other containers that we can easily roll out and other tied up services like SQL proxy and so on, which makes it really easy for us to like not have a big infrastructure and DevOps team, but focus on uh, rolling out product features. So it's been great that way to be on the cloud. And that makes sense for startups who, you know, they, they want to be cloud native, they need to get to market sooner. It's really easy to be agile when you're very small. What would you say the most important kind of cloud technologies or cloud related resources are available to larger companies that can help them adopt a similar methodology? That's a great question. So, uh, so I think it's a multi-phase approach for bigger companies that are not on cloud already. So what I suggest is that any of the new products and services that you want to roll out, you want to consider being on the cloud first. So uh, some principles of being cloud native means that you can use uh, some of the open source technology so that you're not necessarily locked into one cloud vendor and you have the optionality of being able to run that back on your data center. So uh, the first suggestion from my point of view is that you start building new services and products as sort of a cloud native version that can run on any cloud, including your own data center. Uh, second phase of that would be how do you sort of bring other interesting data that you sit on in your own data centers and use that in conjunction with the data that's being collected on your new services and products. So you could bring your own data to the cloud or you could sync the data back from the cloud to your own data centers where you are now building much more robust uh, set of models or services. But over time as phase three, I would say that you may want to consider moving a lot of your computational needs onto the cloud. The, the challenge with that is at scale, cloud becomes pretty expensive. Uh, an example of that would be if you're building a lot of interesting models that require a lot of GPU computational resources, then these are pretty expensive on a per hour basis. So it's still very valuable to consider moving to a cloud, but then build it and design it in a way that you're not uh, tied to a specific cloud. And there are many open source tools and technologies that let you do that. So that way you can bring it back to your own data center eventually. Yeah, and a, and a hybrid approach is still yes. something that's you know not only relatable but actually really desirable to a lot of people. So how does that relate to the cloud being more right. expensive? So uh, it depends on where you are in the company's journey. So a big established company may have already owned the real estate for having the, their own data centers. So the marginal cost of adding the server would still look far more lucrative for them to move to cloud uh, as opposed to move to cloud. Uh, but what I see is that um, there is going to be an explosion of different tools and services and especially new type of computation environments that you can get. For example, you're seeing TPUs that Google is, is pioneering and rolling out. Uh, it'll almost be impossible to bring those to back to your data centers. So in some way, you're right that it's better to be on cloud because you can manage costs certainly in some way because you only use it on on demand. But then with already at scale, certain companies find it easier and cheaper to roll out new machines 
but not necessarily offering the same capabilities. Uh, it's an opportunity cost of the future versus uh, marginal cost of the present day that we, these big companies have to make a trade-off. The initial cost will be higher on the cloud simply because to replicate the same level of uh, computational resources, it's going to be expensive. Uh, but with the right sort of uh, teams and right infrastructure teams in place where you're not spinning up resources and wasting it away, you can somehow have a handle on the cloud. But I think really it's the future of where your products can go, which I think is only possible being on a cloud. Stay tuned for more conversations with Doc AI. If you enjoyed this episode, check out the StackTap playlist for more great videos.